Tip 5. Have moments of prayer with family and other followers of Jesus. Another simple tip is to have moments of prayer with family and friends. If you have a spouse or children, take time to pray with them over meals, when the day starts, when the day ends, etc. Or if you have believers that you meet with on a consistent basis, take time to pray with them before and after the meeting. Or spend time worshiping together. Now, I can imagine many of you reading this are probably already applying this to your life, but it's important to remember that these times are prayer, and they are essential to having a prayer life that is consistent. Tip 6. Learn to enjoy prayer. If we want our life to be a life of prayer, and if we desire to pray consistently, then it is obviously important to enjoy our times of prayer. A simple way to enjoy prayer is by learning that the main reason for prayer is to develop a relationship with God by communing and fellowshipping with Him. Not all times of prayer are supposed to contain a prayer list with things we wish to have changed. Rather, the Bible reveals to us that the primary purpose of prayer is for us to be with God and enjoy His presence. In other words, prayer is meant to be a time of fellowship with God, not just a to-do list where we ask for things. Here are some verses that suggest this. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent, John 17, 3. God is faithful, by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, 1 Corinthians 1, 9. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 2 Corinthians 13, 14. Not only do we see this as a consistent doctrine throughout the New Testament, we also see this as an example in the life of men of God throughout the Bible. Now in the church that was at Antioch, there were certain prophets and teachers, Barnabas Simeon who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Acts 13, 1, 2. Tip 7. Know the reason why you want a consistent prayer life. Finally, my last tip is to remind yourself why you want a consistent prayer life. I can imagine that you want to be consistent in prayer so you can have a healthy relationship with God and live a life of righteousness. But whatever the reason is, it is causing you to pursue a life of prayer, and this is an amazing desire, and God is backing you. Whenever you don't feel like praying, remind yourself of your why. Think to yourself that if you don't pray it is a momentary pleasure but it adds no fruit to your life.